Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the live composing show. It's a Monday, so it feels a little bit weird. I'm used to doing these on Thursdays with you, but I'm glad you guys are here. And I can already see my camera's a little bit off, so can you tell it's Monday? How's that? That's better? Ah, uh, kind of. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Well, what's up, guys? So good that uh, you can hang out with me today. So we're going to be do doing uh, two of these live streams this week. So here's what happened. So last week, if you joined me back on Thursday, we did a stream similar to this where I started working on this game Music Pack. And I ran into some issues because I tried doing it with Vienna Ensemble Pro mixed with Digital Performer. Two things I don't love, <laughs> to be totally honest. And what it did is, is it caused a lot of like um, crackles and pops with my whole streaming setup. And just, but just because VN Ensemble Pro, while it's a, an amazing piece of software, I was trying to load literally hundreds of instruments and my CPU was just crashing, the RAM was crashing, and it, just, it was a bad experience for stream. It was a bad experience writing. It was still fun and you guys were troopers hanging out for a few hours. But what I did this morning was I actually went into Cubase and created a new session from scratch and I picked out, I basically built a full orchestra, a symphonic palette that uses my favorite libraries for this specific usage. Because the whole thing with templates is, if you try to do a one size fits all, it never really has any kind of character. So I made sure today when I was picking all the instruments, and it took me a couple hours to do, I made sure that everything kind of had the same fantasy style because what I'm going for here is a fantasy tactics for a tactics game, you know, in a Final Fantasy style. Um, and what's kind of funny is of all the game music packs to try to create an album for, it's funny I chose this one, but because I, I'm already working on a game <laughs> right now that is very much in this style, but I think I want to do this to really dig deeper into you know, the orchestral language in a way that I'm not getting to do with the other. Um, but I'm excited. So I don't want to really talk too much, but I just want to show you very briefly what I've set up here um, so that you can better understand. So within Cubase, I've actually routed four different folders worth of instruments. We have woodwinds, brass, percussion, and strings, and then I also created an ethnic folder if we want to start adding some things in there manually. But it's very simple. And even just this basic setup where I have an aux track for every single one of the instrument groups, woodwinds, brass, percussion, strings, each one has its own aux audio track. Like over here, you can see an aux track for the brass, for example. And then I created one effects track, which is the orchestral reverb set to 100% mix, which is 2C Aether, 100% Music Hall 3. And now what that means is I can take every single one of the aux tracks and send them to whatever percentage I want of the reverb, like negative 17, negative 31. And that way everything has its own lane, it has its own sound within the context of the orchestral hall. And what a simple way of doing it, but man, just the simplicity of setting it up this way, I just spent a few minutes playing around and everything feels so good and natural and I can already tell this is gonna be the, the best way to move forward. So the plan for this year is to create a game music pack called Fantasy Tactics. And it's gonna have 12, possibly 13, maybe a couple more tracks in there. They're all gonna be between one and three minutes. They're loops and they're all gonna have like thematic material that connects the tissue. That way it literally feels like an OST. It feels like a game written, you know, music written for a specific game. But that way when a game developer comes and buys this pack, they're gonna have, you know, little bits and pieces they can choose such as a battle track or a story track or a title theme, whatever. But there's going to be thematic connection. That way, if they want to use a lot of them or all of them, it's just a really usable package. So I'm really pumped about that. And so as of right now, I'm thinking of doing four story tracks, three battle tracks, a boss battle track, a world map, a credits, a shop theme, a title theme, and a character menu. And those all range in different lengths, but between one and three minutes. That way, it's something in the range of 25 minutes of music, very usable, very, very useful. So I'm excited to jump into this. I think this is going to be much easier writing than I tried last week. 
Um, and what I've already done is set up all these red markers are all the different tracks. And they're already spaced out to where I can write comfortably between all of them. This is exactly what I would do in any soundtrack is get them all in one session. And that way I could always change the signature and the tempo to match whatever that specific song is, that specific track. And yes, Chance, what's up, Chance? He says, wait, today isn't Thursday. You're right. I will also be back on Thursday, but I thought I'd, I'd squeeze in an extra stream today. Because I was literally about to sit down to write anyway, but I said, hey, it's always more fun when you guys are a part of it. So um, it's just fun. I, I love writing with other people around. It's, it's very energizing. So let's make sure everything is on as it should be now that I've closed up all my folders. Um, I'm excited, guys, because it's such a simple way of writing that... So, like, let me, let me... I don't want to talk too much, but I hope that this makes sense to you guys when you're doing this kind of thing. Because I set everything up from scratch today and made a template that I will now use for 12 plus tracks, every, every decision was what kind of color, what kind of tone can I choose? Because I have a lot of horn samples, for example. So I kind of auditioned to several companies' horn samples to choose which one would be the one that really makes the most sense for this soundtrack. So when I was choosing a piano sound, I specifically chose a piano sound that fits the orchestral vibe. So it's not going to be a warm, intimate piano. It's not going to be a like an overly bright classical piano, but instead I found one that really fits the orchestral vibe. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And so I, I tried to do that with each instrument without spending a ton of time on it. So I'm pumped. It's going to be a lot of fun. Travis says, is this for the Final Fantasy Tactics? No, but rewind, you can kind of hear what I'm doing today. I'm, I'm making a game music pack that very much resembles that sound. Um, all those famous composers, I love that style. It's it's very near near to my heart. Um, let's play. Um, just for fun, here's like a little, this feels like Final Fantasy 12, which is the, you know, if we're talking Final Fantasy Tactics, it's the Ivelisse countryside it's just like a little something i threw together um now this is way too loud because i'm playing all the woodwinds at once but just listen Very similar to Final Fantasy. So even that would maybe be like one of the battle themes. Um, and I'm really pumped to dive into this today because I have so many ideas. But the fun of having a session organized this way is if I have an idea that doesn't fit the current track we're doing, I can just take that idea and throw it off to story two or story three, whatever. And that way we can kind of be creative, but capture the ideas and put them, you know, file them away at the appropriate spot. And thanks, Tristan, who likes the Monster Sanctuary thing on my wall. My wife did that. It's actually uh, cross-stitching. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. And it's the four uh, main characters from Monster Sanctuary. Exactly like that. If I'm inspired to write something, let's go. So I feel like that 
fits within the battle themes. That'd be a cool battle theme idea. So in order to do this, I have to find a bar to start on. And then I have to find a tempo. So just take my pencil and knock it to something. Like right there. And I can always go to this little bar over here to change what, you know, where it starts. But this is going to be something fast. That's 6-4. That's 130. Uh, and my plugins today are kind of assorted. It's a lot of things. It's not one thing. Um, I don't use BBC at all. I don't like the sound of it, actually. So here we go. Let's write some stuffs. And let me take a section marker. That's why I have all these marker things out. And this is going to be the A section for this guy. Make sure that looks good. Feels good. Uh, I don't want to lose my idea in my head. Um, but I like that idea of using timpani. That's cool. To kind of launch... My creative brain's going crazy right now, so let's just roll with it. It's kind of what I hear rhythmically, so let's find. Um... Uh oh, why is this not? There we go. Like up and down arrows are not working. There we go. -da -da. like the whole tone scale, so. Yeah, that sounds really cool. which are all 16ths. Ah, come on. It's one of those moments where my brain's going faster than my hands can go. So just trying to get stuff out. Again, all 16ths, take them all, quantize. And as you can see, I'm just so much faster in Cubase. It's gonna be a better experience for everyone. <laughs> Keep rolling. Cool. This might even be 
like I don't feel like it's the intensity enough to be a boss battle track, but just like this is the kind of stuff I think of with tactics games. It's always very colorful, menacing. It has this like certain quality to it. Um, let's get the violas in there. Um, Quantize. Hope you guys are even like sort of following along. <laughs> Today I'm just going. Keeping that pulse, that's fun. Ooh, we got a hemiola in there. Two against three. Dun, 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 Cool. Let's double that with the double bases. This is why I love having everything set up in advance. I can just literally roll with it. And yeah, Tristan makes a good point about the loopability of tracks is everything. So this type of game music pack has to be a loop. So typically an A, B section or an A, B, B, A, B, A, something like that. I've already pre-mixed everything, so all I have to do is write. I don't have to worry about anything else. So this needs a harp. So we're doing whole tone scale. So, um, sorry, my little footstool here fell. Um, Uh, let's get some uh, piano. It's like...
chord I'm looking for. very menacing so funny huh oh give me a second i totally forgot to load my trombones i'll show you how i do it um for this specific one whoopsies got carried away with all my other stuff i wanted to use the 8do new century ensemble brass because these are killer grab some individual articulations trombones yeah i totally forgot to do these guys that's hilarious the only patch I forgot. <laughs> I did all these today, so it's like 40 instruments, 50 instruments. But if you think about it, um, here's the math I did. Most of these samples are up to 500 megabytes. So by the time you add them all together, when you have 40 or 50 of these things, you are using about 30 gigs of RAM, 40 gigs of RAM. I have 64 uh, and the problem with the other solution of doing VEP is I had way more than that. I had hundreds of these, and that's why just nothing would work. All right, so let's also give this guy... Let's do this one. The other patch I forgot was the um, trombones short. <laughs> you guys are funny. Lots of questions. Appreciate it. Uh, Chance says, I bought an accordion and I'm thinking about trying to sample it. Any resources you can think of to help? There's a lot of good YouTube videos. Hey, George, welcome to your first live stream of mine. That's a huge accomplishment. <laughs> quiet sample.
do some like proper orchestral writing today. This is fun. Cool. I like it. Um, and with that, I really probably shouldn't be screwing around with my volume levels too much. Otherwise, it's going to get way out of line. Um, so let's do the same thing with the tuba. Get it low, tuba. tactics, you know, fighting the army. minors like that. Let me get those in the right order. So B minor to C C augmented. Like that. So this is actually like a Grant Kirkhope slash, um, um, what's his name? Motoi. Um, there's a very Japanese technique to take two minors in a row. So I'm doing a B minor to C augmented back to B minor doing to a, an augmented, um, No, I'm sorry, B major. So basically what it's doing is it's, it's chromatically like rotating. Um, that way it constantly has this like disjunct. So they're cool chords. I just got to pick the right order. So I want there to be a melody on top. Yeah. in order lots of triplets da -da -da -da, triplet bomb i found this triplet tongue patch which is killer from this new sensory brass this is like the coolest patch i've ever heard for this kind of thing so these are all 16th triplets Look 
get these lined up a little bit better. You guys talking about uh, Celeste composer, uh, Lynn Rain. Yeah, I've talked with her. She's awesome. Lots of massive patches, I believe. Actually, she took a lot of um, Super Nintendo patches and used them, too. Very different way of doing it. I always prefer to create my own stuff. But, you know, she can bind things to create her own sound, so it's kind of the same thing. I'm doing this wrong. I think these are eighth. Na, na, na. Yeah. computer has a hard time keeping up with the timing when you play that fast. Cool. And thanks, Matthew. I appreciate it. This all feels like magic to me, even if I'm the one doing it. Kind of like that pounds the ground.
progression. gonna work oh here's the culprit right there sorry thing was way off you rolling with me here guys like I have never played a keyboard before. I'm really trying to use my ears on this, guys. Turning to this um, idea here. I love using these orchestral colors to double things up.
Dun, 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 dun. Real music now. Thanks so much, Micah, Jacob, and Maya. Glad you're here.
to get some like regal harmonies in there. Fourths. we're doing I think I'm a key off there we go Ooh, that's getting into like, um, is that Dorian? Flat two. Um, Hiding. So much going on. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though.
do uh, strings. some viola. Let's also get um, cello. So Uh, pizzicato. Oh, it's a little bit more chill. Again, this is kind of just like a, a fire hydrant of ideas to make them all good, but they're they're here.
Let's find a way to get some more things in there. soon to me. Um, Nabil, I'm using Cubase today. I love Cubase so much more than Digital Performer. Better notes would be nice. Ideas here, I like it. It's called the C section.
Isn't it crazy how good sample libraries have become these these days? Some of this stuff sounds really good. Definitely the right tone there. Probably need some triangle. Let's see if we can find that a little. <laughs> it's so quaint. These are a lot of like half ideas. But it's good to get them out. Thank <laughs> you. 
trombone sneaking in there piano's taking over really heavy in the bass notes but then the fun is trying to figure out how does that work with this next little as someone said the hollow night section <laughs> if nothing else like i said before i'm just trying to get some ideas out and i can always move them to different tracks or whatever
I love how you guys are like quoting all of these different composers and games that I'm hugely inspired by. I never try to copy anybody. I just try to do my own thing, you know? Some high flautando violence. <laughs> Robin. It still sounds original. Oh. I don't even know what style I am these days. It kind of blends, it blends a lot of my favorites. That's what everyone does, you know? Let's go back to the beginning and try to like get something into the that groove. That, like it feels like it's off the Yes, I definitely studied classical music. Hmm. I kind of like it just higher like that. So it's cello. Let's get viola in there. 
there's the missing piece. as well so let's make sure that we do um i'll say horn melody that'd be a really cool spot for that now this is kind of take starting to take shape i still don't think this is a boss battle i feel like this is like maybe a more intense battle if there's like a medium intensity like a mini boss or something Not sinister enough, right? So like that the fight before Boys. 
Sounds like a cute Kirby song. <laughs> I think that this part, I know you guys are talking to the chat, but I gotta, I gotta focus. Um, boom, 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 boom. Um, okay, let's get the low strings. I really like this chug. Um. <laughs> So much cool to just stay on B.
life was out of place. <laughs> I like everything else so far. Need to be um yep and dum. I guess everything needs to be an eighth note triplet. That's it. Sephi Roth don't Sharply Roth. Probably sounds like that. <laughs> I can't help that inspiration. It's there. It's like embedded into my soul as a musician. <laughs> Josh asks, uh, what music have I been into lately? Man, no clue. Um, I've been playing a lot of games lately, like a lot of different games too, which is really screwing up my inspiration source, but it's, it's also makes it really fun. Okay. So this guy needs to be way hotter. Yum, dum, da -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. This just needs to be like ball to the wall right here. Boom, must go. a specific question about what libraries might be using.
good peoples if you'll give me I know I've been on air for a while now if you guys give me just a couple minutes I'm gonna take a, a quick little coffee break I'll be right back and we'll pick it up just a little bit more thanks see you soon
Hello, friends. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit here today. I know this is a bit of a different schedule for today, but man, this has been a fun little fun little treat so far. So I am going to uh, start a different track. I have a lot of ideas to work on with this battle boss track thing, but I clearly have a lot of ideas and it's going to take some refinement, but days like this are good just for kind of spitting out ideas and then you kind of edit them later. Um, so I would like to go back to the session here. Let's go. I want to uh, I want to share this little idea I started with. I don't know what what place it has, but it's just a little idea I played with that might do well for like a story moment. <laughs> It's a, it's a worthwhile idea to pursue. Um, no. Like that needs to be the pizzicato strings. Here we go. Let's do it. And yes, I recorded it all in one section, but that's really easy to dun, 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 dun. So just take that, copy and paste it into each of the pizzicato sections, which is double bass, cello, and let's see, viola, pizzicato, which is this guy here, and then move that over to Violin two. Let's double all that stuff up. So all that's happening now is pretty simple. I go over here and I take just the lower notes. Like that. And that becomes each part. Just take out the part that's not the part. Thankfully, I have an eagle eye for this kind of thing. I've been doing it for a long time. I can just kind of pick them out and go. It's also very linear, so it's easy to pick out. Isn't that cool? It's kind of quiet. That's the point. Thank you. 
good old E flat minor. This is the in point. You guys are hanging in there with me, huh? Let's do it. This is good. It's fun. It's like a shaker. Right. Da -da -da. Love good hand percussion. I'm really just trying to figure out where all the notes are. <laughs> Fun little use for tambourine. like that.
Make a good like title theme. <laughs> I like that. Let me jot down the idea and then I'll wrap it up for today. So I can come back to this fresh. Something in that vein, I think it'll be a fun little adventure -y, you know, almost like a, more like a Chrono Trigger style, um, something that's very energetic and, and melodic, and they could be a nice fast melody that can then be used in other contexts, such as the slow story moment. So that'd be a fun one to play around with, and this is definitely a continuation. We're going to keep rolling with this, um, but for the purposes of today, let me actually play out all that we did write for today, all over here in this battle section. It's not done, but I'm glad you guys got to be here just to kind of, as I sketch things out, and that's how this stuff works. You write, and then you edit, 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 edit until you get something interesting. So I'll be back on Thursday for another live composing show at the proper time of 12 p.m. Eastern Standard, so make sure you're there, set your calendars. Thanks, guys, for being here for today. Let's play out what we have so far for a potential boss or just a normal battle theme. Check it out. Have some fun, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care.